up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older dudes. So today, I want to talk to you guys about Khabib and five reasons, okay, why I think he's going to beat the living crap out of Conor, okay? Now, I love Conor and uh, he's super entertaining, he's a super good fighter and I'll make another video why, how Conor might actually win the fight, okay? Because to be honest, I really think it's, it's almost 50-50 but I give the slight edge to Khabib and here are the five reasons why. Number one, okay, Khabib is fucking heavy. He walks around at about 200 pounds, 200, 210, okay? And if you guys um, remember, Nate Diaz, okay, who fought Conor twice, he walks around at about 200 pounds also. And you remember what Conor said in one of his interviews, the bigger man takes more shots to, I'm paraphrasing, but the bigger man needs to get, uh, needs more shots before he goes down, okay? And you'll also remember that uh, Conor hit him flush a, a, a couple of times in both fights and the man didn't go down. Now, why is that? Yes, he has a chin, but size matters here. And Khabib isn't fucking small. He's huge. He cuts like almost 40 pounds, man, uh, every time he, um, uh, he goes for his weight cut. So for him to make his weight, so that's, uh, that's a really big thing. So... It, for you guys who think that he's going to get knocked the fuck out with one punch, you know, because, you know, Conor has a death touch. And yes, he does have a death touch, but you got to remember, Khabib could take a fucking hit because he's fucking huge. And also because, well, he has a chin. He's a very tough guy uh, and so on, right? Okay, so the second thing is his, um, his cardio. His cardio is, is, is amazing. He can go for fucking days. He can go for 25 minutes. He could probably go for a fucking hour. Okay, without stopping. And supposedly, he did just that in, uh, in one of his training sessions at AKA with, uh, you know, with, the Cor with Cormier and all those other guys and Rockhold and all that. So, he has a lot of cardio. He isn't going to guess. And that leads me to my third point, which is because he has that cardio, he's fucking relentless. He's like a pit bull. He won't stop, okay? So, just because he missed a few takedowns, doesn't mean he's going to stop and just stand there and, and okay, now I'm going to try and box and shit. No, he's going he's gonna to keep going at it, okay? And that's, that's a lot of pressure and um, it's going to make a big difference in the fight, in my opinion. So now the other thing is, listen, he's a very high level grappler, okay? He's been doing this for like over 25 years, okay? And he, he to me, it's like... Um, Anybody who's been doing a sport for that long, uh, being so active as he has, I mean, that's, that's like oh, practically elite level. So elite level, I'm talking like close to the Olympics, okay? And here's the thing. Even Cormier said that when he wrestles with Khabib, and remember, Cormier is a fucking heavy dude. He's light, heavy, heavyweight, right? And he says that when he, when he wrestles with Khabib, he go, it's fucking war. They go all out, Okay. So, I mean, Khabib is, is pretty much, in my opinion, elite level, practically Olympic um, level wrestling, okay? And that's, that's very hard to fucking deal with, man. It's, it's not the same as a guy who, who, uh, who wrestled, um, you know, Division One, Division II, uh, uh, you know, national level. I mean, you know, there's national, international, and then there's Olympics, right? So... I put Khabib up there, uh, Olympic level uh, wrestling, practically. And so, the other thing, um, my last uh, thing here is, and I said this in another video, okay, where uh, where I talked about this. And Khabib, okay, it's easier for Khabib to to fill in his holes uh, in in boxing in stand up, okay, to not get hit. Okay, then it is for Connor to like learn how to defend uh, against uh, a Olympic level, elite level wrestler. Okay, like in, and you, and you guys like really think about it. I mean, how long does it take to really learn how to defend a punch and, and to keep your hands up, keep your chin down, and you know even when you punch, you know you got to bring your hands back and not not like. Um, overextend so you're not off balance and I mean those things are easier to learn in a shorter and 
easier to learn in a shorter period of time than it is to like, oh shit, how do I, how do I defend against, how do I wrestle uh, with an Olympic uh, elite level wrestler, right? Think about that. Like, even if you took two years to, to do, um, you know, to, to, to wrestle, okay? I mean, two years versus 26 years, you know, you're not going to catch up uh, all that time, you know, like two years versus 26 years. So that's, you're not going to catch up 24 years in two years. You know what I mean? Okay. So, um, and the last thing I want to mention is that both camps are really smart. Okay. I mean, on Khabib's side, you have AKA and then you, so you have Cormier, you have Luke Rockhold and you have the, I forgot the name of his coach, but he, he's a really good, uh, MMA coach and, and those guys are all, all pretty smart. They know how to game plan and shit, okay? And yes, Connie Sire is smart too, but I mean, come on. Like, you know, uh, Khabib's not, uh, his, his team, they're not a bunch of retards, you know? So that's my opinion on that. So to reiterate why I think that uh, Khabib's going to win, the five reasons, okay? First of all, his weight. He's a big fucking dude. Oh, by the way, Connor walks around at 170. Khabib walks around at 2 to 10, all right? And the second thing here, let me just look at my notes, is cardio, okay? And which leads us to after him being able to be relentless, it's psychological, but at the same time, you have to have the cardio to be relentless, okay? Then after that, you have the fact that he's super high-level uh, wrestler, okay? And after that, number five, well, he could fill in the, the holes of his game uh, in terms of... Um, uh, defense, you know, so he doesn't get knocked the fuck out much faster and um, in, in a very short period of time, you know, in two months, I'm, I'm sure he could figure it out. I mean, the guy's a professional, right? And um, those, that's it. So those are the five things. And of course, you add to the fact that his team is smart, aka they're not a bunch of fucking dummies, okay? Like they, they have multiple uh, champions there. And so that's it. So that's why I, those are the five reasons, five main reasons why I think Khabib's going to uh, kick the shit out of Connor, okay? Beat the shit out of Connor. Khabib doesn't really kick. So, but I'm gonna make another video because it's very close, though. You know, there, there's there's a lot of ways that uh, there's a lot of reasons why uh, Connor can win too. So I'll make another video about that. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was insightful. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Like uh, if you like the video. Subscribe, and uh, you know I post videos uh, multiple times a week because I got a lot. A lot to say about a lot of shit when it comes to fitness and martial arts for older dudes. And not, not just for older dudes, but I mean, even younger dudes can benefit from, uh, from all the shit that, uh, that I'm talking about. And uh, my experience and, and everything that I, uh, well, that I know and that I'm learning at the same time. Okay, guys. So thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.